Today I'm going to show you one of the amazing artifacts we use to teach with here at the Peabody Museum, especially in our weekend family programs. This is a manioc press. It's used traditionally by cultures in Central and South America, especially in making foods like this cheese bread. So how does this fit in? Well, let's start at the beginning. So you start with this root. It's called manioc, or cassava. And the first step is to peel away the outer cover. But there's a problem. Inside is a bitter tasting liquid. There are slightly toxic enzymes in here. Uh, prussic acid is one of the components. So you have to get rid of that. The first step is to let it soak overnight. That'll have the toxins leach out. Then the next day, when it's dry, you grate it up and you take what you get and you're getting ready to do one more thing to it. It looks pretty dry, but trust me, if I squeeze it, you can see that there's more bitter tasting liquid in here. So let's say you have a whole lot of people to feed. You've got a big basket of this ground manioc. Well, you don't want to strain it and squeeze it by hand. That's where this comes in. So what you would do is load up all the manioc inside. I'm not going to do that here. I don't want to get this one dirty. And the weight and volume of all that ground material causes it to bulge out. Now imagine I'm hanging this on a tree. All I have to do is pull down and squeeze, and the liquid gets strained out. Let it hang overnight. In the morning, you've got something to work with. So I'm going to use this toy party favor to show you how that looks close up. It's got a similar weave as our manioc press. We've packed it and as I pull it apart you can see how the liquid gets squeezed out. So now that we've finally gotten rid of all traces of that bitter liquid, we've got something we can work with. It goes through a little bit more processing into this floury type starch. but. You don't have to go through that whole process. Today, you can simply buy it prepackaged like this in the stores. And it is a key ingredient in making delicious foods like this Brazilian favorite type of cheese bread. 